Hello, today is Friday. It is 4.40 after the close on June 23rd, 2023, last week of June. This weekend report is titled Stock Market Consolidation after a springboard higher, and this is your weekend report. Hi, this is Jonathan Gurney, Portfolio Manager of Gurney Financial. The disclosure statement, please listen and read, is in front of you. This post is for informational use only. The views expressed are those of the author Jonathan M. Gurney. This material is not intended to be relied upon as a forecast, research, or investment advice, and is not a recommendation, offer, a solicitation to buy or sell any securities or to adopt any investment strategy. In short, we're keeping our clients aware of what is happening, the moves we made, whether they were good moves or bad moves. We're very vulnerable in the, in the decision to keep our clients aware with this. Um, but it's good during volatile times to kind of keep you posted with what is happening. So good, bad, and ugly, let's hit it. Okay, so for the week, so let's recap. Last week we did not do a video. I needed a mental break. It was one of those weeks where it went about as bad as it possibly could have for me if i'm just being honest i needed that extra day monday was off so the market was closed monday so week the week of the 12th through 16th we had the fomc meeting we had which is the fed meeting deciding what happens with interest rates we had um inflation data we had quad witching those three events usually add a ton of volatility and so I was betting, since we were overbought at that time, that we might see some volatility, and I placed a small short bet. And I'm saying, hey, one of these five days, I'm gonna get some volatility. The problem was this. We basically got zero volatility until Friday. And so on the dip on Friday, which you're seeing here, this is the, the orange area. This is the 12th through 16th right here. Pretty much a straight up move. Um, very difficult, very frustration, very frustrating, if I'm being honest. So I just needed a mental break. I needed to get away from people, reset for this week, and we did well. So have to have a mind of a goldfish where you forget what happens sometimes, re regroup, and get right back into it. So in short, this was tough, period. It's one of those situations where with the FOMC Fed meeting, which was hawkish, meaning it really usually is not good what they said for the market, but the market just kept going higher, which is important. Um, again, price action is everything. I was just expecting one of those five days to have some volatility and we really didn't get much at all. Okay. So that was very frustrating. So this is not a video to show. I'm, I'm not only doing these videos when I do well, that's not the way this works. It's just, I had three days, to get away from a computer, which I obviously I still had to work, um, but to get as much away from the computer as possible, regroup, not have any bias of what the, I receive from phone calls every day. Um, it's really important mentally to kind of regroup. And I did, and we, we regrouped and had a good week. So the summary is this, not this week, but the previous week, it was a, basically a straight up move, very little volatility, okay? And again, I went into that week saying, hey, one of these five days, I'm going to get a pullback. We didn't until Friday. So that was really frustrating. It's one of those situations where kind of a 90 percenter likely to have volatility. We had zero. And a lot of people got smashed on that same mindset that I had. So again, price action was good. We we're consolidating in this bull flag, which is not a bad thing. But the reality is, and I'm gonna start the timer now, so it keeps me on track, so there we go. So for the week, let's recap, this is now this week, the market saw a pullback. And after the week before that was straight up and after all those events, the market tends to use events to get people off sides. And it just kept going up, up, up. And if I'm showing you like the QQQ, which is the NASDAQ 100, I mean, this was a huge move. We got severely overbought, as you can see, and we're consolidating. So this is pretty healthy at this point. Does it mean we just get bought here? No. Um, so I expect, let's go over the performance. The lagger was the Russell 2000, which continues to be an issue. I wanna see these areas continue to rotate and do better, period. Um, so really, it wasn't, after a straight up move, this is, consolidation like 
there's no, no other way to look at this. So at this point, here are the key levels. Right now we're at 43, 38, 48, 43, 48 right here, okay? And so it was kind of an ugly day and an ugly week for the sectors as well. The only sector positive this week was healthcare. So kind of an ugly week. And the one that surprised me the most, honestly, is XLE. I thought um, energy would do better, but I'm glad I didn't bet on it because it's just kind of ugly, as you can see in this chart. It's just not getting any momentum whatsoever. So it's pretty, you just got to kind of avoid it for right now. So um, key levels that I'm watching, again, straight up move. Very frustrating the previous week. Now we're consolidating down, okay? so. Let's take an objective look at what I'm seeing. I expect kind of a little bit of a pop here early next week. It might not happen, but that's the way I'm betting. So I am long going into Monday of next week. It's the last week of J June. Hopefully um, it gets bought up. It might not. I want to be very honest in saying I do think midterm-ish, the move could be a little bit lower, but I'm just playing a pop hopefully early in the week next week so could it be possible that the breakout which is right around 4280 4275 gets retested it very well could happen and so but is the risk reward great for that not really because we're already oversold in the rsi5 so some good things that did happen this week is that it reset the rsi like this was at 75 77 ish in the rsi which again relative strength index anything over 70 is pretty overbought and we got that high it hasn't happened in a long time so in short at this time it looks like this is good consolidation um after a huge move up so we'll see what happens it's going to be up and down it's not going to be a straight move up or down um, but overall i'm playing to the long side early next week if we get a gap up i'll probably take it and run so i think we can early next week hopefully we get to around 4360, 4370-ish, take some profits. Um, objectively, some things that I don't like is this. We are curling down. So collectively, breath or how things are performing collectively across the New York Stock Exchange, this is not, this usually leads to some more downside, okay? So it's not gonna be a straight this is as of Thursday, just so you're aware. So this does not factor in Friday, which Friday, if you're wanting to see what that was like, was not not a pretty day whatsoever, okay? So overall, I think there's short-term pop potential early next week just to get people off sides. And you know, everybody was negative probably going into, everybody's probably a little bit negative going into this coming week and hopefully some buyers come in. One big concern that I'm seeing and noticing under the hood is the Eurozone has just had five straight days down and that's not what you wanna see. So I'm very aware that this might not be the greatest long position short term, but I still, from a risk reward standpoint in my system, I mean, that's a long, that's a long time um, down here and I expect hopefully at least a popped right back up here. So we'll see. But I, I wanna be real and say, I, I think early next week that 30 or 4337 could happen very quickly. And if that breaks, 4313 could come really quick. Okay, so this would all be healthy if we retested this. And if that holds, that would be a very good area. So. New highs, new lows, not exactly what you wanted to see. Again, we know this. No real telltale on value versus growth. There's nothing, growth is still strongest, um, period. So nothing really to discuss there. Um, let's look at some of the previous lead leaders. Tesla took a breather this week, but not a lot of damage whatsoever. Ugly day today, but not bad. Amazon, could it be possible that we test this gap? I think that would be healthy to be honest with you. Amazon, really strong still, um, not down much at all. Um, what else do I wanna look at? KRE, which is financials, regional financials. 
this is still butt ugly, if I'm being honest with you. This concerns me a little bit, but as long as you stay away from it and are in growth, you're generally going to do a little bit better. So um, what else do I have? So again, I talked about this earlier, but XLE is surprising me the most. And what makes up the IWM, which was the laggard this week, IWM, Russell 2000, what makes that up generally is financials and energy. And so if financials and energy don't do well, you're going to have a tough week for that IWM. And 2,000 stocks in the New York Stock Exchange being that bad kills breath. It's pretty simple. If the Russell 2000 is, has a tough week, the breath is not going to be great. So ideally, hopefully we see some rotation and maybe can we get um, a QQQ touch of the 21 day moving average? I think it'd be healthy. Um, I think it, it would probably get bought to be honest with you. I see no reason why it wouldn't, but the market is not easy, that's for sure. So overall, we've been overbought for a long time and that's living proof that when the trend is strong, it can stay there. And this, so again, short term, I think we might see a little bit of a hiccup in Ju in July. Um, but overall, we can still play the levels. So overall, did not do well the previous week. We did well this week. So we were up 0.65 when the market was down point. Uh, we were up 0.65 when the market was down 1.41. I'm not showing you this because we had a good week. The week before this was butt ugly and about we were down about 1.5% the week before when the market was strong. And that is so frustrating. Again, one of those situations where I'm saying, hey, one of these five days because of the Fed meeting, inflation and quad witching, one of these days is going to bring a 1% down day. Didn't have it, period. And that was not a good mindset, evidently, in hindsight, because the trend was up. So what usually happens in the market, though, is when you have all these events, it squeezes people like crazy. Um, and I was expecting at least one of those days to go down and it, it didn't. It was really frustrating. Um, and then when when things cooled off, like we had no events this week, very few events. Um, the Eurozone had some more events, but our indexes, the U.S., stock exchange did not really have a lot of events and so a lot of people are saying hey the market's really strong here there's no events we should just go higher and that's when you usually get the pullback and that's exactly what happened so at least we regrouped we had a better week this week um, i am long going into next week but it's more for a pop than anything if i'm being honest so we'll see um we're, we want to be involved because the trend is still up um, but the short-term trend is down so um, let's take a look at that one more time. Short term, what is trend? The five day moving average and is curling down. So got to be cautious here, but it would not surprise me to get a little bit of a pop. You can see, let's see, let me update this. It doesn't like me right now, it's okay. So overall, this is what I'm looking at. It's a better read short term, shorter term, not like super short term to say not a bad risk reward area when it stays down like this. So hoping it's kind of like one of these scenarios right here and we can, it, it'll be choppy. It's not, it's not just going to go straight up or down likely. So hang in there. Good week. Um, again, the levels I'm watching, I want it to hold 43.37. We lose that. I'll probably get out of the position. Um, but wouldn't surprise me early next week to see 43.66. So no real bias here. I'm just trying to play a quick potential pounce here. So thank you guys. Thanks for your trust. Um, we're getting closer to the merger. Um, it's just a ton of paperwork and a lot of legal work with the state. So thanks, guys. Have a great weekend. See ya.